Hello, everyone. Here we are in Power Talk as the expert live streaming. With me, I have two amazing individuals that are just publishing 100 successful women around the world. I mean, a hundred women, you know, that is like beautiful connections, beautiful stories that they have to share. And with me, I have Maria Rene Davila and El Otero. So welcome and thank you for saying yes and being on my show. If you would love to introduce yourself, that would really help. Ladies first. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angelica. And we're so excited to be here with you. You are one of the successful ladies that have been featured in this amazing book. My name is Maria Rene Davila. I'm the CEO of the Global Trade Chamber. Our headquarters is here in Florida. And also I'm the founder, I will say co-founder, uh, of the 100 Successful Women in Business Network and managing partner for the Global Arts Academy. So I'm super happy to be here. I didn't yeah. mention the, the faculty activity oh, as no, an educator. But thank you so much for inviting me. Well, thank you. And Al, tell us about yourself. I am uh, Al Otero. I'm the president of the Global Trade Chamber. I am the chairman of the 100 Successful Women Network, which connects women worldwide like Angelica. Amazing women, not just any women. Mm -hmm. And we've been serving uh, companies around the globe for thir over 13 years now. Yep. Wow. And, and tell us, like, how did this idea evolve? Like, how is it born? Um, you or me? You start about how you, your 100 successful women yes, network. Yes. Um, three years ago, well, we have been doing events as a Chamber of Commerce uh, forever. Uh, and uh, as you know, uh, part of the activities of a chamber is to help businesses to start, grow, and expand. And of course, we do a lot of uh, events and networking activities in a weekly basis. Um, but beyond that, I noticed that all these years, we have a lot of ladies uh, that uh, started a, their own business, or they were thinking about to start a new, uh, a new business. And I realized that there was a lack of support on this specific sector, the women in business. Mm -hmm. uh, these ladies were eager to learn, eager to start a business, but they were not uh, sure about how to do it. They didn't receive enough counseling. Uh, so with the chamber, under the chamber, a division of the chamber, we decided to open a division that's called Women in Business to start helping women in business, encourage them, empower them, teach them how to start a business, not just in U.S., but globally, because we're a global chamber. And I noticed the, the need to create something very important to connect women worldwide. And that's how uh, we had the baby born, which is the successful women in business. But not just the successful women in business. We want to be very uh, unique with our name. Mm -hmm. um, we call it 100 Successful Women in Business Network because it's not just about 100 ladies, but it's about recognizing 100 successful ladies every mm -hmm. year through a convention that we produce and organize in different places. As a matter of fact, the Successful Women in Business uh, initially was just one year, one time per year, uh, recognizing 100 ladies worldwide. And we did that, but then the event was so popular and uh, a lot of people was asking for more information on how they can get involved. So we decided to create a series of events and we were doing events everywhere. Uh, and before the pandemic, we had scheduled uh, the 2020 several events in Texas. Yeah. We were gonna do Washington, we were gonna do California but everything is stopped with the pandemic. And well, we're here uh, now with uh, this global concept and virtual concept because we didn't stop. The pandemic uh, started, but we didn't stop. We adapt and uh, we improve. And persevere. And don't give up. Don't give up, don't quit. And don't quit. And how did you both get connected? I mean, how did you meet and end up working together in this amazing project? Well, I would like to say this, that uh, Al Otero is a, a, is a very popular and well known as a Mr. Networker. And I have a lot of respect. And um, he's a very, he's also a leader 
in the community. So I was eager to meet Alotero to see how we can collaborate each other and work together. And things, uh, I believe that things happen for a reason. And we met 13 years ago. Uh, we collaborated in some projects together. And then we decided to start something global because we had the same vision, uh, how we can reach businesses worldwide, how we can connect businesses worldwide, how we can help businesses. And well, through the leadership, uh, because Al as a president is a true leader here, and he is the one that is, has all the connections globally as well as a chamber of commerce. So I'll, I'll let Al to explain more about the chamber. You said it all. <laughs> the idea to do anything in life is really to have a common ground, same values, and same vision. Mm -hmm. So if you're not like-minded, it's very hard to find people that have the same ethics that you do. So I really don't have partners. And then I met Maria and she came uh, highly recommended by a mutual friend. And uh, it was like uh, perfect. She was doing events on a global scale. I was doing events in the U.S. And we both wanted to help people start and grow businesses. So yeah. I decided that uh, we should do something together and uh, we haven't looked back since. Well, also Al has been involved with Chamber of Commerce forever. He was the chamber uh, chairman for several Chamber of Commerce, the president, the director. Uh, tell about your, because he has so many awards that I lost I track know. of that. I don't remember. <laughs> so I started doing uh, trade maintenance with uh, a chamber, one of the chambers that I started and I was invited to go to Colombia uh, to do a conference on how to do business with the U.S. by the government of Colombia. Mm -hmm. I had never, I hadn't been in Colombia for over 30 years since I came from as a kid. So I go into Colombia and uh, I, I'm in the National Conference Center with about a thousand people from all over the country. The uh, ambassador of the U.S. was at my event. Uh, wow ministers from Colombia at the national TV. I said, I didn't, I didn't even remember how to speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but that got me uh, very excited about uh, global opportunities. And this was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was the first person to take a mission from uh, South Florida to Colombia. And it's, I haven't stopped since because I know that we don't have local opportunities. We have global opportunities. And that's what your organization Mm -hmm. It's also global because you know that we're not longer a local economy or local organization. So we started doing events and then we were invited by chambers in other countries to do conferences on how to do business with the U.S. We've traveled to a number of countries, to mm -hmm. many cities in the U.S. We want to go to Texas, but we didn't get a chance because of the pandemic. So we are connecting people, empowering yeah. and teaching people. And women are just, they blow my mind every time I meet somebody like you, because mm -hmm. you ladies are impacting the world. And I had to support that. I was 100% behind supporting women. Mm -hmm. Well, I love it. And I'm, I'm hoping that you come here to Texas because I'm in the Dallas area. And I know together we can do great things. So yes. because that's the empowerment. When you come together as a group, we, we create magic, you know? So tell me, why do you feel that people should go global at this moment in time? I mean, why is it so important? Well, um, it's not just about the pandemic. Uh, somehow the pandemic uh, forced everybody to become a virtual connector. Uh, but uh, if it would go back, uh, you know, some years ago, uh, we were already living in a, globalization era. So you cannot uh, just keep doing business with your local uh, with local companies. You need to have a vision on where you can connect with the world. Uh, mm -hmm. We're living a globalization, not just in communications and technology, but also we're living a globalization because of the multicultural and multinational environment in, in everywhere. Uh, I remember when I was a child in Bolivia, because I'm originally from Bolivia, uh, just in case, <laughs> not, Mexico. Uh, not Mexico, Bolivia, <laughs> and um, you know, to have somebody from any other country, it was like a wow. Is this person from Brazil? Is this person from I don't know Cuba? But now it's people everywhere. 
you have people in Mexico from different nations, you have people in India from different, just go to Europe. Europe is a multinational environment like US. So you cannot uh, think that you're gonna keep doing local businesses. You need to think global. Even if your business is not um, with that global vision, you still need to understand more about the multicultural environment that you're living in. Mm -hmm. You wanna connect with people uh, local, that's fine. But make sure that you're going to meet people that also is coming from different backgrounds, different ethnicity. So we're not living in a local, in a bubble anymore. A bubble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And living in a diverse community is really amazing. And now here you have a hundred most successful women book that's ready to come out. Why, like, why should people get this book? Why is it so important that? it gets in people's hands right now. Well, like Maria said, we are a multicultural community now, no matter where you go. There's no place you go that you don't meet somebody from another community. One of the main things about the book is that we have um, women from almost every country. We have women from Dubai, women from India, women from Peru. South Korea. South Korea. I mean, it is really a global book. And even if within the U.S., women that are from different states, it's a different lifestyles. So they don't realize that working with different states is not the, is the same as working with other regions. Because business in Texas, it's not the same as business in Boston. Mm-hmm. And Florida is in a whole new world of itself because everybody's here. Bangladesh, the whole world. So you're going to learn not only about the women, all of the challenges, all of the great things they're accomplished and all the things that they're impacting across the globe, but you're also learning about their cultures, what sets their culture different and how they have succeeded. We just started with Poonan from India. She started a business in India that was dominated by men. And yet she succeeded and persevered and now she's a leader globally. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that you're not just working in your backyard anymore. So the book is going to touch your lives, impact you, inspire you. It's going to leave a legacy for you and your children to overcome things in the future. And it's going to inspire you because you're going to say, hey, if they overcame two cancers and you are a leader, oh, that's a delegate. <laughs> but this is a story we read. There was a lady that had how many heart attacks? This women, they were abused by their husbands. There's mm-hmm. women that left the country. She has to escape the conditions and had to start from zero. We know a lady that was living on a roof of a house where she moved to the new country for like six months mm-hmm. and she was able to get settled. So the stories are t- dramatic, but powerful and very right. inspiring. Mm-hmm. So for those of you that are listening, I mean, we have Al Otero and Maria Rene Davila here with me. It's their, um, they created this beautiful network, a hundred successful women and this amazing book right here that you need to get. We're going to put the link here below so that you can go and get the book, especially when it's an early bird sale, when it's fresh and hot out of the oven, like you need to get this book because if you are a person like me, Maria and Elle and many of all these other women that have gone through some type of chaos or you may be experiencing it now, you need to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and these amazing women will have that flashlight so that you can see your way out, find your way out. And the only way you can find those golden nuggets is really by getting the book. And the investment is like this little, like really small. It's not even huge. So it's an opportunity to get the golden nuggets, get the light at the end of the tunnel, and be able to get out of the situation that you're in because there's always a way out and making amazing connections with these women. And especially with Al Otero and Maria Rene Davila, like you need to connect with them. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to be global, like these are the people to connect with. So what else would you like to close with that you really want people to kind of get? 
and and know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Angelica, for inviting us to your show. Uh, definitely, uh, you need to get this book for all the reasons that Al and Angelica mentioned, but also because you're going to learn and you're going to be able to network and connect with these amazing ladies. You're going to find their contact information oh, yeah, in the stories wow. so you can meet them. You can talk to them and learn from them because I'm sure that one of the, one of the stories is going to be um, you're going to feel identified with one of the stories. If you do contact, contact this lady and try to learn from this lady because that is the best way to grow in life. Uh, and like Angelica said uh, in a previous interview, uh, don't look for perfections, but keep trying, keep trying. And eventually you're going to achieve all your goals or your dreams. And also want to invite everybody to visit our website. As a Chamber of Commerce, we provide so many services for small, medium, and large companies in U.S. and outside of the U.S. because we do a lot of international trade. Uh, we do um, also uh, trade missions. We have a trade center here in Florida if you're looking for virtual offices, etc. So we have so many opportunities to offer you, not just for women, but for everybody. You are welcome to visit our website, www.globaltradechamber.com. But especially for the book, visit the www.100swb.com. You're going to find more information regarding the book. And as you know, the book is now available on Amazon. So you just need to go to Amazon, look for the name 100 Most Successful Women uh, Around the World, and you're going to immediately be able to buy the book. Wow. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, so... We always encourage those that are listening to this call, you know, to this live stream. We're hoping that we set one word, something that inspired you to keep going. I love to connect with entrepreneurs like Al and Maria Renee so we can empower you. That's why this is the power talk. So we can empower you to reach and become whoever you want to be. So we're asking a big favor. We're asking a like. We're asking that you share this video so that we can reach women or even men that are out there looking for great connections and especially this book that's come out today. So we're asking you to share, like, and most importantly, comment or ask any questions because it is the Power Talk Ask the Expert. So you can ask any questions and we will come back and answer them here below. So you do have the website that's going here uh, that's listed below. So connect with Maria Rene and Elle. Um, they're doing amazing work and connecting with women all over the world. So if this is the call for you, then you need to take it. Don't think it once. Don't think it twice. Just take action. <laughs> Just take action it. today. So it. again, Elle and Maria, I always ask my guest if they have one favorite quote, what would it be? So if both of you could share one favorite quote. You can start. Okay. Never give up. I love it. Ever give up. Never, mm -hmm. ever, ever give up. Wow. Okay. What I can say now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that I like to live every day with two words, persistency and consistency. Be persistent on your dreams, but be, be also consistent with what you do. So if you have a clear plan, you're going to be able to, to succeed and to achieve your goal. Wow. Such I powerful it. women around me. <laughs> you mention that it. it's in the book? Of course, I did at the beginning, right, oh, Angelica? Man. Yes. <laughs> you Absolutely. have not met Angelica through Power Talk until you read her story in the book, so you really know the amazing Angelica. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I am in the book. So buy it. And you could read a little bit of my story in there. And many, many other stories that will inspire you to take action. And life is about an experience. So if you are not enjoying the experience that you have right now, then you need to make changes and take action in order to create the change that you want to make in your life. So again, Rene, I mean, Maria Rene and Al, hugs, hugs to you. Yes. And thank you, you thank too. you so much. Thank you. thank you, thank you so much. Awesome, thank, thank you. you. Everybody have a fabulous day in Power Talk live stream and I will see you next time.